Philippines' premier motor show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A hybrid vehicle from Toyota, the Corolla Cross, and a pickup from Ford, the Ranger FX4 Max. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Honda CR-V SX AWD versus the Suzuki Vitara All Grip. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the installation and tuning of Unichip. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of Hyundai Trucks and Buses Cebu dealership as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Live Extra with the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Welcome back to Autofocus. The Automobile Show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. Hybrids now form part of the local lineup of many car brands. Toyota led the way in this and has added the hybrid variant of the Corolla to its lineup. This edition of Car Review takes a look at Toyota's affordable hybrid crossover. With the global shift to crossovers in SUVs, it was inevitable for Toyota to come out with a crossover variant of the beloved Corolla. It's called the Toyota Corolla Cross. And also following a global trend towards EVs and hybrids, the Corolla Cross comes with a hybrid engine option. When Toyota brought the Corolla Cross to local shores, it included the Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8 V Hybrid. It is 4,460mm long, 1,825mm wide, and 1,620mm tall. And with a 161mm minimum ground clearance, it is just tall enough and off the pavement enough to be called a small crossover. Toyota did well in giving the Corolla Cross the current look of popular crossovers, the prominent grille, stylish headlamps, brawny fenders with more liking the makeover than not. The Corolla Cross 1.8V Hybrid can be distinguished from its 1.8G CVT sibling by its gun metallic front grille, black and chrome door window frame molding, and 18-inch alloy wheels with 225-50 R18 tires. The hybrid variant also comes with bi-beam LED headlamps, LED daylight running lights with line guide, LED rear combination lamp, rain-sensing wipers, fog lamps, power-adjust side-view mirrors with auto-fold.
The Corolla Cross Hybrid shares much of its interior features to the Corolla passenger sedan, including the dash and the seats, which exude and feel premium. This is complemented by the high-tech look of the 7-inch multi-information display as well as the 8-inch display for the infotainment system that sits elegantly front and center on the dash. You get AM FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, USB port, plus voice command, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and 6 speakers. Right below the audio unit display are the controls and digital display for the Dual Zone Automatic Climate Control System which comes with rear vents. The Corolla Cross Hybrid comes with leather seats with 8-way power adjust for the driver but only 4-way manual adjust for passenger. The rear seat offers a lot more legroom than when in a Corolla passenger sedan. And the rear seat back splits and folds 60-40 to allow for an increase in luggage space. Other comfort and convenience features include power windows, speed sensing power door locks, drink holders, 12 volt accessory socket, and two USB portals for rear passengers. Getting into the Corolla Cross is most convenient with the smart entry system that comes integrated with push start button. Driving the Corolla Cross Hybrid can also be described convenient. The steering wheel has controls for the multi-information display, the audio system, hands-free phone, and even for the adaptive cruise control and lane tracing assist. The hybrid powertrain on the Corolla Cross comprises a 98 horsepower gasoline engine generating 142 Nm of torque, a 72 horsepower electric motor, and a continuously variable transmission. Combined, the hybrid engine provides a total output of 122 horsepower. The Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8V hybrid is not a pocket rocket by any means but it has enough grunt to make it a fun and safe drive in the city or in the countryside. The electric motor gets the Corolla Cross moving from stop. At constant speed, electric motor and engine work together to drive the front wheels. When called to accelerate, the gasoline kicks in to provide more power. Braking recharges the battery that powers the electric motor. The chief benefit from the hybrid system is that it saves a lot on fuel. But it handles well enough, riding on a suspension using the tested front McPherson strut, rear torsion beam combination that offers a good balance of stability, coverage, and road holding capability. Confidence boosting stopping power comes from all wheel disc brake system with the front disc ventilated. The Corolla Cross 1.8V Hybrid comes with Toyota Safety Sense, a suite of driver assistance systems that include pre collision system, automatic high beam, lane tracing assist, lane departure assist, and adaptive cruise control. Also making it easy to park and reverse are the reverse camera, clearance and back sonar with two sensors in front and four sensors in the rear, complemented by blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert. The Corolla Cross also comes with standard safety features like seven SRS airbags, anti-lock brake system with brake assist and electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control with traction control, hill start assist control, ELR seat belts for five, child restraint system with isofix and teether anchors, Finally, it also features the Toyota Vehicle Security System with immobilizer and alarm. Many major automotive companies are moving away from the conventional toward electric vehicles with hybrids and plug-in EVs offered during the transition. Perhaps Hybrids are the way to go these days. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Humans choose more challenging paths 
to go up and over our biggest obstacle, ourselves. New Ford Ranger FX4 Max. Live the Ranger life. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. GEC Motor Philippines is expanding operations in the country in more ways than one. Aside from launching three new models, the all-new GS4, the bulletproof GS8, and the GN8 Masters Edition, GEC Motor is moving to add new dealerships this year and two more early next year. But there is more. According to GEC Motor, its dealerships will begin offering after-sales services to vehicles from its competitors. These include preventive maintenance services, electric diagnostic, tune-up, recharging of Freon, wheel alignment, tire installation, muffler and exhaust repair installation, brake repair, change oil and lube, car wash, detailing, wash over, body repair and collision estimate, car paint job and car disinfection. Services offered to non-GAC owners include insurance assistance and insurance claim estimate costing. GAC Motors is exploring other ways to promote its brand and services. It plans to partner with one of the biggest superstores in the country to let consumers experience what GAC Motor has to offer. The Toyota Corolla has reached the 50 million global sales mark, and it did so in just around 55 years since it was first launched in Japan. Today, Corolla is available in more than 150 countries worldwide, serving as either the well-loved family car for short and long commutes or as a fun, sporty vehicle. Now on its 12th generation, the Corolla remains both one of Toyota's most recognized models and one of the world's top-selling cars. Over the years, the Corolla has evolved, incorporating new developments in automotive technology, ergonomics, safety, and connectivity. All the while not forgetting what the original Corolla was meant to be, a vehicle that brings happiness and well-being to people and always exceeding expectation in terms of driving pleasure and performance, safety, aesthetics, technology, reliability, and durability. The Corolla now is offered with hybrid powertrains, reflecting the new demand for clean power, and a crossover called the Cross, reflecting the shift in customer preference toward crossovers and SUVs. The Mitsubishi Expander continues to record growth in sales since the local introduction of its latest variants last year. The seven-seater Mitsubishi Expander recorded sales of 1,207 units sold in July, its highest performance for the year and a 60% increase compared to units sold in June. Takeshi Hara, MMPC president and CEO, said Mitsubishi is very thankful for the continuous strong performance of the Expander, which makes it the best-selling MPV in the country. Takeshi-san assures its clients that Mitsubishi will continuously work to deliver great products and dedicated service and bring the brand closer to the hearts of the Filipinos. The Mitsubishi Expander is currently offered with a low down payment plan of 58,000 pesos through the Downpour Deals promo or customers can avail of 0 DP and free 3 months amortization via the Save Up, Drive Up BPI promo. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki El Tiga. 
Seven seater in style. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models, belonging to the same category on head to head. Brand reputation, engineering, build quality, specs, and price. These are among the major factors many use in choosing vehicles, especially in crowded market segments like compact SUVs. Head to head compares the specs of Honda's CRV and Suzuki's Vitara. Japanese automakers still maintain the reputation of manufacturing reliable and quality vehicles. This is true in the sport utility vehicle segment. In the local lineup of Japanese compact SUVs are the Honda CRV SX AWD and the Suzuki Vitara All Grip. Launched locally late last year, the 2020 Honda CRV is 4,623mm long, 1,855 mm wide, and 1,668mm tall, with a 2,662mm long wheelbase and a 208mm ground clearance. It arrived with a refreshed fascia featuring new chrome bumper accents, LED fog lamps, smoke-tinted rear taillights, and redesigned rear bumper. The CRV SX also comes with roof rails, 12 LED headlights with auto-leveling and high beam support system, sequential front turn signals, power-adjustable and power-folding door mirrors with side turn signals, auto-rain-sensing front wipers, intermittent wipers with wash and auto-rear wipers, tailgate spoiler, silver bumper skid garnish, shark fin antenna and mud guards. Exclusive to the local top-of-the-line CRV are the panoramic sunroof, 18-inch alloy wheels, and hands-free power tailgate. Launched in May of this year, the Suzuki Vitara All Grip is 4,175mm long, 1,775mm wide, and 1,610mm tall, with a 2,500mm wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 185mm. The new Vitara All Grip exterior features LED headlamps for low beam, unique DRLs, vertical chrome grille, front and rear skid plates, a front lower bumper garnish, chrome and black grain accents on the side, black rear spoiler, silver roof rails, wheel arc extensions, and 17 inch polished alloy wheels. It also comes with a panoramic sunroof consisting of two glass panels that slide open. Standard in the Vitara are headlamp leveling device, front fog lamps, power adjustable and folding side view mirrors with integrated turn signals, and electromagnetic tailgate opener. The CRV SX comes standard with smart entry with push start system. The cabin can sit seven comfortably in black leather upholstered seats. The driver's seat power adjusts eight ways and comes with four-way lumbar support. The front passenger seat power adjusts four ways. The second row seats for three slide, recline, split, and tumble 60-40. The third row seats for two split 50-50. The three-spoke leather upholstered steering wheel tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for the multi-info display on the TFT instrument cluster, audio hands-free phone. The CRV SX is also equipped with dual-zone automatic air conditioning system, wireless charger, USB ports in the center console, a rear center console. The infotainment system features a 7-inch touchscreen advanced display audio with navigation system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, and 8 speakers including 4 tweeters. The Vitar All Grip also comes with keyless entry and push start button. The cabin has seats upholstered in leather and suede type fabric for 5. The driver's seat slides, reclines, and adjusts for height. The second row seat back folds 60-40. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather, tilts and telescopes, and has controls for audio, cruise control, and speed limiter. The dash and instrumentation features large circular dials for speedometer and tachometer and a 4.2-inch LCD multi-info display. Standard comfort and convenience features include center armrest, central door locks, automatic air conditioning, 12-volt accessory socket, USB port, rear camera and parking sensors, 
The infotainment system comes with smartphone linkage, navigation system, clinometer showing pitch and roll angle, compass settings and barometer readings, and front and rear speakers plus tweeters. The 2020 Honda CRV SX is powered by a 1.6 liter VOHC ID Tech turbo diesel engine that generates 120 PS and a maximum torque of 300 Newton meters and drives all four wheels via a 9 speed automatic transmission. It rides on 235 60 R18 tires and a suspension featuring front McPherson struts and multi link system in the rear. It comes with an all wheel disc brake system, ventilated in the front and solid in the rear. The Suzuki Vitara All Grip is powered by a 1,586cc four cylinder gasoline engine that generates 115 horsepower and 156 Newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to a six speed automatic transmission and four wheel drive All Grip Select drivetrain, which allows drivers to choose four drive modes auto, sport, snow, and lock. The Vitara suspension features McPherson struts with coil spring in front and torsion beam with coil spring in the rear. The brakes use ventilated discs in front and solid discs in the rear. The CRV SX AWD is available locally with Honda Sensing, a suite of driver assist functions that include adaptive cruise control, low speed follow, collision mitigation, braking system, lane keep assist system, road departure mitigation, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. Other driving assist systems include agile handling assist, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist, Honda lane watch, multi view reverse camera with dynamic guidelines, front and rear corner sensors. Also among safety features in the CRV are dual front SRS, side curtain airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, 3-point ELR seatbelts for 7, ISOFIX and child safety lock. The Suzuki Vitar All Grip is equipped with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability program, hill hold control, hill descent control, brake assist function, rear cameras and parking sensors. Other safety features include dual, front, side, and curtain airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, ISOFIX and child seat teether anchorage, child-proof rear door locks, side impact door beams, pedal release system, and immobilizer. Many nicely spec compact SUVs are now available locally. Buyers will have a hard time sifting through them to find out which best fits their needs and wants. Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. 
Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Hyundai formally launched its refurbished and improved dealership and service center for its trucks and buses in Cebu in a cool and innovative way. This special feature presents the highlights of the virtual launch. Hyundai Trucks and Buses Cebu or HTBC began serving the need for commercial vehicles, trucks, buses, and cargo haulers of business and trades in Cebu and the Visayas in 2016. Spun off from Hyundai Cebu, HTBC immediately began earning recognition and awards from Hyundai Asia Resources Inc. or HARI, official distributor of Hyundai vehicles in the country. In 2017, HTBC was named Top Sales Team, Best in Country Sales, and Best in Light Medium Duty Sales by Hari. In 2018, HTBC was ranked second in the Award of Excellence for Whole Sales. And in 2019, HTBC was named the Champion in Top Performance for Vehicle Truck Sales and Best in Over the Counter Part Sales at the Hari Commercial Vehicle Dealer of the Year Awards. The COVID 19 pandemic shut down businesses and locked down communities for much of 2020, but this did not stop HTBC from pursuing plans to upgrade its facilities. In the middle of 2021, Hari held the formal launch of the new and improved HTBC, now manifesting Hyundai's global dealership space identity or GDSI. HTBC now boasts of up to 2,000 square meters of elegant space to house a robust lineup of Hyundai trucks and buses, provide superior service and maintenance, and support the customer with a dependable team of professionals ready to respond to their needs in areas of sales, service, and customer care. During the virtual launch, streamed like a special news program entitled Hyundai Trucks and Buses or HTB News, Hari President and CEO highlighted how Cebu and the region is important for Hyundai. Cebu City is a very important market for Hyundai commercial vehicles as it remains one of the top cities in economic accomplishments. Even when the pandemic hit, Cebu was one of the first to recover. And with more developments underway, we can expect this powerhouse city to generate even more opportunities for growth. To us at Hari, it is our mission to continue growing at a pace that's as fast as the community we are serving. And this is where Hyundai Trust and Bosses Cebu shall be able to capably demonstrate the Hyundai brand of business mobility with its refreshed facility inspired by GDSI to keep up with the needs of today's modern entrepreneur. The inauguration of the now GDSI compliant HCBC did not escape the notice of the mother company, Hyundai Motor Company. Ju Yeon Lim, General Manager of the Global Exports of Hyundai Commercial Vehicles, Asia Pacific Region, and Latin America, lauded HTBC's determination to push ahead with completing the GDSI facility in spite of the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Lim said HTBC sets an example for how Hyundai dealerships all over the world can help economies everywhere to survive and recover from the pandemic. In this invigorating space, we are confident to say that Hyundai Trucks and Bus Cebu shall be able to continue growing lasting partnerships with the entrepreneurs and movers of the economy that shall pave the way forward to progress. We believe that your good example is providing excellent customer experience, inspires your colleagues in the Philippines as well as the global Hyundai network of commercial vehicle distributorships. Keep up the good job. Continue building Hyundai Seaway in the Philippines because reliable, safe, and efficient trucks and bus are critical to rebuilding economies in the new normal. The national government also took notice of how HDBC is helping Cebu City and the rest of the Visayas region overcome and recover from the effects of the pandemic. 
Michael Lloyd Dino, presidential assistant to the Visayas, also noted how Hyundai has been contributing greatly to the growth of the Visayan economy over the last two decades. In upgrading its facilities and redoubling efforts to partner with builders and other businesses in Cebu and the region, HTBC is giving the public confidence and optimism for a better future. As we move forward along the path to economic recovery amid the COVID-19 pandemic, we look into the future with optimism and relief that we have partners such as HARI and HCI that will uplift Visayas economy, ensuring our continued growth and sustained development in the region. Finally, Edward Vincent Onglatko, president of HTBC, assures customers and the public of its commitment to continue to be partners for growth of the local business sectors and communities in the city and the region. While the pandemic may have tried to challenge our resolve, we are honored at the opportunity to contribute together with Harry and the entire Hyundai dealer network to the greater purpose of economic recovery. And today marks an incredible milestone for us at Hyundai Trucks and Bus Cebu. Helping you advance your business towards the outcome that you aim for is paramount to our mission in growing a fruitful partnership with you. With our complete and modern facility, dedicated team, as well as the abundance of commercial vehicles that we offer, you can trust that we shall treat your business in the best way we know how, by keeping your best interest at heart and delivering on our promise of partnership and service. The Cebuano way, with integrity, care, and commitment. The concept is cool, but it is still the achievements of Hyundai and its bus and truck dealership that drags the story and makes it all the more interesting. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Da, da, da. Ba, 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 da, da. Da, 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 da. Make long distance easy with the Mirage G4. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have your second car review this week. Ford is among the most number of variants in its local Ranger pickup lineup. This car review checks out a new variant, the 2021 Ford Ranger FX4 Max.
Ford claims to have sold the most number of 4x4 pickups during the first quarter of the year. It is no surprise as it has one of the stronger lineups of 4x4 pickups in the local market, including the new Ford Ranger FX4 Max 2.0L by Turbo 4x4 Automatic. Ford rolled the FX4 Max in March which may have helped it claim the 4x4 pickup first quarter sales crown. Just from looks alone, this could certainly be true. The Ford Ranger FX4 Max embodies that old time phrase ruggedly handsome. Taller than its siblings, not Frame Raptor, the FX4 Max is 5,354mm long, 1,860mm wide, and 1,852mm tall. It is easily distinguished by the grille proclaiming its Ford heritage in large letters. A full length tubular sports bar finished in matte black. The metal hoop side steps with non slip mounted directly on body. The metal hoops are cool not only for how it adds to the FX4 Max's rugged looks, but for how it helps with climbing into the cabin without affecting the 4x4's high ground clearance. The FX4 Max is also outfitted with projector type headlamps, halogen front fog lamps, rain sensing wipers, side mirrors with turret signal lights that adjust and fold electronically, and a bed liner. Getting into the FX4 is made easy with the smart keyless entry with push button start and side hoop side steps. The interior has got a special treatment, leather seat upholstery with carbon accents with Miko suede insert, as well as embroidery that declares it as an FX4 Max. Sports pedals, leather wrapped steering wheel with black alley inserts shared with the door trims. The FX4 Max also shares the dual color 4.2 inch cluster screens on the instrument panels of the Ranger Wild Track. All weather front and rear floor mats add to the rugged character of the FX4 Max that is meant to be used also for off-road adventures. The driver's seat in the FX4 Max manually adjusts 6 ways, the front passenger seat adjusts 4 ways. The rear bench seat features a center armrest that can be folded up to make room for a third rear passenger. Unique to the FX4 Max is the auxiliary switch pack, which provides easy and convenient connection and use of aftermarket accessories. This is complemented by a 250 ampere alternator specifically to power accessories and reduce reliance on the battery. Also making it quite comfortable and convenient in the FX4 Max are the power windows and dual zone automatic air conditioning. The Ranger FX4 Max comes with the latest in infotainment and connectivity including an 8 inch color touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and added auto capability, Sync 3 with voice activated controls, Bluetooth with phone audio streaming, 2 USB ports and 6 speakers. Checking underneath the hood of the FX4 Max, one finds the same 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel engine capable of generating 213 PS of power and 500 Nm of torque also found in the Ranger Raptor in the wild track. The FX4 Max is only offered with a 10-speed automatic transmission and 4x4 in drivetrain. Ford claims the FX4 Max can haul loads of up to 981 kg and can tow trailers of up to 3,500 kg. But what makes the FX4 Max deserve its Max tag is the tweak suspension system that gives it great off-road driving capabilities. The FX4 Max suspension features the new 2-inch monotube Fox shock absorbers on all four wheels tuned front coil springs and modified rear leaf springs for greater off-road capability. The 26570R17 BF Goodrich all-terrain tire trapped around 17-inch alloy wheels certainly help taking off-road trails. Also helping is the 256mm ground clearance. Hill launch assist and hill descent control make it easier to tackle hilly roads, especially those with unpaved surfaces. Giving confidence to drivers are active and passive safety systems like anti-lock brake system plus electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control with rollover mitigation and traction control. Standard safety features in the FX4 Max include airbags for driver and front seat passenger, and seat belts and child seat isofix anchorage points. Ranger FX4 Max should help Ford continue to rule the 4x4 pickup segment. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia.
All right, today we'll be showing you how a Unichip is installed, how it is tuned, and what are the benefits of actually getting one installed in your car. And here we have a 2017 Toyota Vios with the latest dual VVTi engine that already has an intake and a header. So we're going to be installing Unichip next on this car to get more power. In a nutshell, what Unichip is, it's a computer that goes on top of the stock ECU and we're able to program this to give different commands to the ECU that says, okay, give us more fuel, give us less fuel, give us more spark plug timing, give us less spark plug timing, and among other things. More advanced features are we could use this to control additional injectors to supply a turbocharger, injector controllers for diesel engines, nitrous control, and sometimes also map switching. We can have up to five different maps for this one, such as if you want valet mode, total shutdown mode, immobilizer mode, and all of that. And this is where Unichip is installed. It's going to be installed very, very near the car's ECU, which in this case for the Vios, it's hidden behind the glove compartment. So it's eight wires to install. On most other cars nowadays, the computer box is usually found in the engine bay. Like if you have a Civic, you have a Jazz, you have a Focus. All the computer boxes are now found inside the engine and that's where Unichip will also be installed. So the way that we install it is we have to cut and splice a few wires. It's normally about eight. Those are power, ground, uh, throttle position, crank position, mass airflow sensor, among other things. So every joint we actually solder and then we shrink wrap and we tape over. So rest assured that nothing will get shorted, nor will it catch fire. That simply does not happen. This is a Unichip wiring diagram, only we have access to it, the official Unichip installer for the Philippines, which is us in Speed Lab. In the Unichip database, there are over a thousand cars that have diagrams for it. It ranges from something as old as a 1996 Corolla 4AFA engine to the latest Ranger Raptor, which we're going to be available in a few months. So it's basically eight wires here. These are the eight wires that connect to the Unichip, then these eight wires connect to the wiring harness of the ECU. It's, by the way, just the wiring harness, not the ECU itself. We don't open this up, we don't touch this, so that remains as is. A little bit of history about Unichip. This has been around actually for the better part of 25 years. The guy who invented it, Peter De Vert, is Dutch. He currently lives in South Africa. That's where he produces it. I think he gets a special government grant from the South African government for that one. And then it's actually exported all over the world. Uh, you can check it out on the internet, you can check out all the reviews, it's there. It's Unichip because it really is universal. We can use it for pretty much anything with an ECU. Gas, diesel, Chinese, European, American, Japanese, Korean cars. As long as it's an ECU, most likely we can install Unichip on it. So there are still certain cars like this Toyota Vios. You cannot remap the ECU. You cannot change the settings inside the ECU. So your only option for tuning is with the Unichip. All right, now uh, the Unichip is now connected to the ECU. For this particular car, we're using the Unichip Q4, which has an additional four wires to control the throttle because all cars now have electronic throttle. Uh, what this basically does is it equalizes the throttle opening because with all cars nowadays what happens is you step on the pedal this fast the throttle butterfly opens this fast that's the delay that everybody is complaining about with all modern cars you step on it like this it goes like this so what the unit chip does with the throttle control is it makes it one is to one you step on it fast it opens fast also so resulting in a mas malakas may bat na koche. So right now, it's connected to the ECU, everything's working, the car's running, the engine is running, uh, it revs fine, there are no check engine lights whatsoever, so that means that the installation is done correctly and everything is working. Uh, with every unit chip installed, we actually put in a unique starting program depending on what the ECU is. Uh, in the unit chip database, there are over 100 starting programs for 100 different cars and 100 different vehicle models and makes and engines actually. So after this one, we're going to be putting the car on the dyno and we're going to be tuning it there to see what the final horsepower is. Not horsepower and torque, actually. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to be putting it on now.
Okay, we're done with the tuning of the Vios here with the unit chip and this is the results. This red line here is the baseline power. This already has our colder intake and our headers. So it's about 91 horses, which is actually pretty good for a 1.3 car. For reference, 90 horses or so is the territory of about 1.5 cars like the Jazz and the 1.5 Vios. This blue line here is after tuning with the unit chip. So at peak power, we're at 100 horses, so it's almost 10 horses more at 6,000 RPM. But the biggest gain here is actually, if you look at the torque graph on this side, at the initial step, there's about 6 foot-pounds here. This is even bigger, it's about 8 foot-pounds. Then this dip here is another 8 foot-pounds. So, and this is at the very critical 1,800 to 3,500 area where most of your overtaking happens. So the end result is a faster car, more powerful, a lot more responsive, and drive normally. Given this, you should see about 8 to 10 percent better mileage. So that's basically the whole unit chip install and tuning process. As from start to finish, it took us about three hours total from wiring up the car to putting it on the dyno to tuning it to getting out of the dyno. So it's probably less than half a day. And, and you walk away with 10 horses on a 1.3 Vios. For other cars, say bigger engines like a 1.8 Civic, it's anywhere from 12 to 15 horses more. For turbo diesels, we actually get 40, sometimes 50 horses more. The best part is, when you sell the car, you can actually take the unit chip out, install it in whatever next car that you're going to purchase, be a gasoline car, diesel car, any brand, as long as it has an ECU. Your unit chip can be installed in that and can be tuned again, reused, make more power for your new car. That's our feature on Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.